With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is simplify the following. Here we are given two matrices. First one is multiplied by cos theta, second one is multiplied by sin theta. So the first matrix is cos theta multiplied by cos theta, uh, cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta. Second one is sin, multiplied by sin theta. It is sin theta, cos theta, minus cos theta, sin theta. And then the matrix set to be added. Okay. So first of all, we will multiply the element cos theta with all the elements of the matrix. Okay. So if the value cos theta is multiplied with all the elements with the matrix, it will look like this. So according to the matrix property, if we multiply something that that number or that function will be multiplied with all the values of the all the elements of the matrix. So using the matrix property, we can write it as cos theta will be multiplied with cos theta. So it will be cos square theta minus sin theta cos theta cos theta sin theta cos theta here sin theta cos theta cos theta will be multiplied with all the elements and cos square theta plus similarly with sin theta also so it will be sin square theta sin theta cos theta sin theta cos theta and here it will be minus sin theta cos theta and then sin square theta sin square theta okay now what we have to do we have to add them from here now we'll add them okay so if we add them the first element will be added with the first one second with the second third with the third and the fourth element will be added with the fourth one so cos square theta will be added with sin square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta the second one minus sin theta cos theta plus sin theta cos theta that means they will be cancelled so ultimately the answer will be zero similarly for the third element sin theta cos theta will be added with minus sin theta cos theta again they will be zero and here cos square theta again plus sin square theta now we know that the trigonometric identity which is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one so using this identity the our final matrix will be so this value will be one this one will be one so it will be one zero zero one which is a two by two matrix and which is what this is the identity matrix of two by two Okay, to my order. So this is the required solution of this question. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download doubt and app today.